Hello, Sagittarius. This is a reading for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Reading on you and the energy or a person coming your way. We're going to see what's good, okay? Also, Sagittarius, feel free to check previous future reads or other placements for more different information. Because of transits, cycles, spirit not really having a timeline, people have been messaging that the videos four years ago are making their rounds and they're resonating currently, okay? Just wanted to throw that out there. It's just how it works, which is why when we say, you know, check previous and futures, yeah, that's the reason, all right? So let's see here. Who's coming towards Sag? Okay, I feel like you're dealing with someone I'm hearing is a pickle, okay? You're dealing with like a Debbie Downer right now where this person's in somewhat of a down mood during this time. They are lacking enthusiasm. They're not happy. They're not satisfied. If anything, they feel kind of blasé or what's the point? There's an aspect of nihilism is what I am getting here. I'm not trying to say, you know, whatever, but I'm just saying this is the vibe I'm getting. And they are really trying to... I don't know. I feel like you are experiencing this person as being kind of like a thorn, okay? And I'm not trying to point fingers. Please understand. I'm just doing a reading here. But the situation is a bit fragile. And this person is lacking faith, hope, optimism. And that's what you represent. So this is someone who feels like they don't have you. You're not where they want you to be. You're not, what is it? Do they want more attention? This person's lacking optimism. They're lacking Sagittarius, okay? So, enlightenment. So, maybe something is going on in their chart where their Sagittarius vibe is blocked. Okay, someone is blocked here. Show me Sagittarius in this vibe. Past a prison. Now, that's why here... Hmm. I see that you're trying to communicate with this person. Now, you can flip the reading as much as you fancy here, but I'm going to read it as it comes out. So please keep that in mind. And what I'm seeing right now is on Sagittarius's side in my reading, Sagittarius is showing up as trying to make something work. Okay. Like I said, flip it if you need to, but this is how it's going to come out. So you are trying to initiate communication, conversation with this person who's making things difficult for you. You're feeling this person is more of a thorn. They're a Debbie Downer. They're not feeling happy about any solution you offer or anything that you say toward them here. They are just kind of fed up. I'm hearing I've had it up to here. You know how when people point to like their forehead here. Yeah, something about someone's forehead. Forehead, I'm hearing bonk. Mm -hmm. This is about a repetitive pattern. Someone feels like someone fell into their own their own ways, their old ways. They started doing something that they were trying not to do. They were talking. What is that about? Talking to somebody? Goodness. Okay. All right. So here's the energy here. You're talking about a grudge. You feel like there is a grudge here. Like it's difficult to get over it. It's like someone, like a beaver put a dam in the in the water here. Okay, so the emotions are not easy to flow around it. It's just getting all choked up. So I feel like someone's getting like choked up. Like they want to cry, but they can't. Okay, something is blocked. I'm hearing a throat chakra. So someone is blocking you. They don't want to talk about this or you don't. Okay, but what I'm seeing is you're starting to feel like, man, this is never going to go away. It's always going to be like this. Someone's always going to say this, do this, act this way, yada, yada, right? And there's an aspect of forgiveness that's trying to happen, but again, being blocked, okay? I don't know why I just picked this up. Sure, 12th house, moon, and Aquarius, yeah. This could be about someone's afflictions, addictions, and vices that we're playing into this here. Like someone could have always been very secretive and they tried to like keep secret sauce to themselves and not being very transparent with the other person. Like you're not being cooperative. Like you being um, quiet or secretive, any type of lies of omission even is not cooperating in a relationship here, okay? So something came out, it could be 
in the form of gossip for some of you. I'm hearing that someone was talking to a neighbor or someone close by about you or a neighbor saw something. Okay, just a side note here. That's not everything. But now you're like, okay, what do I do about this? Okay, someone's not opening their heart anymore. Someone could still have feelings for an Aquarius or a Pisces. And there are secrets about this. Okay. All right. Show me the person in the reading. Who is this? Well, we got a two of cups. Wow. Four of cups. I'm telling you, there's that blase vibe. So you guys like one another. This person is very, very fond of you, but they're not getting it their way with you. They're feeling like you guys are not fully united. You guys are not together. You're not acting as one. You're not acting as a unit. That's what this person is talking about. I feel like you guys are more divided than usual, or it's just been that way. So even though this person has fond feelings, they like you a lot. They, I'm hearing honor your friendship. Wow. So they honor the connection here, but it's like, it's not what they want it to be. They don't have enough Sagittarius. Okay. They don't have enough optimism right now. Everything is just blase, yada, yada, same old, same old, okay? Not going anywhere. Might as well end it, okay? Throw the baby out with the bathwater type energy. That's what we're looking at. And I feel like this is bothering you, the way that someone's perspective is. But you know that there's truth to this. You know there's a reason why they feel this way and think this way. You, because there's past energy here, something happened, okay? You, so... I'm hearing, don't downplay my feelings. Okay, let me see here. This person feels like you don't even care. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case. Please don't get mad at me. I'm telling you, they feel like you don't care that you just kind of like let them go. You do whatever you want. You ignore them from time to time. You're not always present. You're not always there. And they're like, okay, but... I thought we were trying, you know, that's what this person's thinking. Mm, this is someone in a, in a bad mood right now. Okay. They're trying to figure things out about you. You guys are in a state of almost like suspension. Everything is suspended. Everything feels like limbo. It's like that uncomfortable, like in between energy. Like, is it done or is it not? Okay. That's how this person's looking at things. All right. So show me Saj in this vibe. Okay. Throw in a lot of cards. I'm just going to take a peek and put it back. Mm. Something's becoming very difficult with this person. Like you feel like, it's, oh, it's always something. Like this is how you're seeing it. It's almost like they always throw a wrench. And I'm not saying they do, okay? Because obviously we already said someone has, okay, maybe someone needs some validation from you, Sag. They have a reason and you know it, but it's like you want to move things forward and like bring happiness to this person or bring more optimism to a situation, but it's like a drab or it's dull or it's like, gosh, it's always, you know, moving in the swamp with you or quicksand type energy. All right, hold on. Show me Sag in this vibe. Wow, Emperor, what are you doing? Hmm? Okay. All right. You feel like you kind of want to, you know, you kind of want to keep this person in some way, but you are saying it's a little difficult. So yes, it is difficult because you feel like this person is just being kind of like abrasive, cold, like they're not um, considering enough. Why is Saj showing up like this? Okay. Wow. I see that you're going to be communicating with this person. At first, it's going to be like, okay, I'm going to put myself out there. Let me come toward this person. I see you communicating with them. You could be communicating with a cancer. Um, 
an Aries person, maybe a Libra, but you're communicating with them your feelings. You want this person to let off some steam. It's like you want them to be able to alleviate, you know, whatever they're upset by. And there's communication about this. You're like, look, we can fix this. We can manage. We can make the changes. We got this. Don't be upset. Like, it's cool. Like, I understand, but we need to, you know, hurry up and go. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. And this is how we're going to do it. Okay. So this is how I see your kind of a approaching this. So let me see this person here with this too. Of You're definitely taking initiative about that. So this person, yeah, with the emperor. So that's the thing. Someone feels like, um, this is what it is. Okay. Someone feels like you're glossing over something. Or someone in this reading is glossing over like either a past hurt that has some subconscious residue. Okay. Like you're you're glossing over the reason why someone's doing something, saying something. That's what they're that's what they're saying to you. Like you don't even realize like you just feel like it's so easy to hurry up and have forgiveness, but you lied or there were lies told. Okay. There was like, you know, it's just too much to get over right now. But they are trying to get along with you. They are trying to go along with the way that you see things. It's like, okay, let me let me see you shoot your shot. Let me see if you can actually recuperate or regenerate this union or this connection here. That's how they're saying. It's like, you don't care how I feel. You're glossing over my feelings. Like you want me to hurry up and get over it. And I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm not. That's kind of how they're feeling. Let me see here. So you feel like this is somebody who's, um, man, this is going to sound harsh, okay? You may feel like this person is just trying to stick it to you or they like to be right and they feel like they're always right. You may feel like this person is like their own worst enemy. They could be perpetually victimizing themselves when you don't really see what the reason is to dwell on something here. It's like they're staying in an undesirable energy and you don't understand why. You're just like, look, you know, here's a solution. You could do this, but instead you want to like sit there and feel bad about it or something like that. Or you just want to keep having that same talking point where you tell me why I was wrong. You tell me why I did this, why I did that, or why you're hurt, why you're a victim, why, you know, instead of like finding a solution, you feel like this person just repetitive on that, you know, same stuck tip there. Like they're just stuck and they want to stay stuck and they keep talking and, as opposed to finding solutions. And you feel like this is a bad approach because it's like you need to take accountability for your part in this. Like you want this person to take accountability, but you feel like they want you to take accountability. So both of you guys need to take accountability about something here. You're dealing with a very like uh, kind of like a type A, it feels. It feels like this. Um. Um, A is A and B is B. Okay. So no in between. It's very black and white kind of, and I can see why, like, this is someone who feels like they've been done wrong, done dirty, maybe deceived. Okay. Um, it's like, you can't deny that you lied or someone did. And it's like, get over it. Hmm. That's not going to work. I feel like you guys are realizing that this approach, you, your, your guys' approaches are different. Okay. So here's, here's, okay, hold on. Wow. You are starting to feel like this person is about to make you explode. Okay. Like 
you feel like you're sitting here trying to be the strong person for them, like taking all these blows, like they're talking crap to you. They're saying bad crap. They're saying bad words. They're cussing you out They're, You know, maybe being accusational or something like this. And you're trying your best not to freaking explode. Like, Ooh, Sag, a Sagittarius mad is a thing, okay? And there's something about that. It's like you feel like you're resisting. It's like a ticking time bomb at this point because you're just really ready about to let them have it. It's like you're trying to keep your power, your control, your composure over yourself. You're seriously about to like blow. You are, all right? And I feel like this is something that is just driving you nuts. It's just like making you mad. It's just like, oh my gosh, you're you're too much like it's just you know like you've you feel like you're a punching bag or someone's like pin cushion just all they're talking crap and they're doing blah 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 over and over keep in mind we didn't pull the past but i am seeing okay i am seeing stuff all right back to this person here This is someone who feels like you're not validating their feelings. Again, it's this energy. They don't feel like you're very emotionally understanding toward them. Like if anything, you're just like, get over it. It's fine. Everything's great. Okay. That's fine. There's a time and place for that, of course. But this, per and there's a time and place for both of your perspectives. That's a thing. I don't feel like not one person is right. It's just different. That's what I'm seeing here in this reading. If this is your reading. Okay. So this person's over here like, well, Sagittarius is, you know, they just feel like it's so easy to get over a struggle. Like I'm, I'm over here on the struggle bus and I'm trying to like, you know, heal or feel better or do better or whatever this is. And Sag just wants me to hurry up and rip the bandaid off before I'm done healing. Okay. There's something like that going on. They feel like you're just quick to like, you know, if there's like a, like a dramatic situation going on or some sort of emotional like turmoil between you guys, you're just quick to like get over it. Like you fight it out, you yell about it or you whatever, and then you're done. You're like, okay, it's done. And that's why they feel like you guys don't have the same energy, like the same approach, okay? Some of you guys, someone feels like some drama with like a Scorpio or an Aries is involved. Like this person feels like you have something going on with this person. I don't know what it is. Like maybe you still want to try with this person. You still want to work something out. I don't know if this is a romantic or professional, but there's someone here that they don't agree with. All right. Just a side note. Okay. So it's a, lo it's a lover. This, this is someone who feels like you. Wow. Yeah. Like you're still trying to work something out with someone or you still have feelings for someone that you don't even talk to or... There's like an ultimatum about not talking to this person anymore or this person's going to stop talking to you, yada, yada. Oh my God. All right. You guys are too much. All right. So let me see about this judgment. Could be a Taurus. Some of you. It's like Taurus or a Scorpio or an Aries or something like that. Someone has a placement, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Here's the thing too. Okay. This, this is someone right now. I don't even think they're like completely telling you this. Maybe they did, but they feel like it's, it's, um, it's better for them to go at it alone right now. This person is having some sort of realization or an awakening, like, whoa, crap, maybe I'm good on my own. Maybe I should just go at it on my own. Okay. Maybe there's better stuff out there for me to focus on than, than fighting here. Okay. At the same time, they're still considering having forgiveness with you and having a new beginning with you. I'm seeing that it's real good between you guys. I don't know if this is the passion or what, but that's what this person keeps talking about. Like having an intimate bond with you physically. <laughs> I was just looking at that and it came out right here. How funny. I love when that happens. See, that's the thing. So they still feel like you and them can 
work something out in the future, though. Like some sort of a delay, like give me some space and then we'll work it out. It's something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to sleep it off or you go sleep it off. Or we'll talk in like two weeks or something. It's like, let's inter intervene or uh, re whatever. All right, here, let me see. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. You're about to tell this person that, you know, is this for real or isn't this for real here? Okay, because you're considering your long-term vision, your assets, your resources, your family, your home, and, and if this person is a part of it or not. It's like you're very much so considering whether or not you should be investing in this vision or this commitment or whatever this is that you've been doing for quite some time here because you've acquired a lot of time here, all right? You've been doing this a while. You've been committed a while. You've been on this financial path or you're in a relationship, whatever whatever this is. You're overthinking this. Oh, I didn't mean to say overthinking. Wow, maybe you are going to be overthinking. You're rethinking this vision that you have. Mm -hmm. Like you feel, you feel guilty for thinking about... Um, you feel guilty for thinking about, you know, something or someone else at times because you have this vision with somebody. Wow. Okay. You really do want something to work out where it's fair, it's balanced. Some of you guys are looking at a like marriage. Okay, there's contracts, there's legalities, there's maybe business involved, something like this. So let's see this person over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is someone who has a lot of fear coming up. Um... I do see that this is someone who's been asking you for an answer, asking you for clarity. Maybe this is about, you know, marriage or some type of truth that they want. This is somebody who wants a truth from you and it's bothering them quite a bit. So you've been, yeah. It's like they're trying to verify something that they've heard or that they've seen. Okay. It's like they feel if you guys were to like tell the truth or clear the air or uh, ease their fears about something that things would be fine. Like you guys could work things out. They have a massive fear here and it's making them feel like it's not worth it okay let me see if i can get any information about this because i feel like you know what it is but i need to make sure i'm giving you a reading that is clear as possible okay they don't know how you how you feel here wow Someone's talking about like marriage or something like that. Like if you're involved or if someone's involved or someone has feelings for someone else, okay? Like someone has a massive like fear about this or a concern about this. Yeah. They want to know whether you want to make something official with them here. If you're able, if you're willing and able, all right. Let's see what's going to be happening here in the next two weeks. Sag and this person. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be some emotional turmoil, a lot of fears that are coming up in the next two weeks. Someone, I'm hearing pricked fingers, so someone's going to prick their finger or someone's got diabetes or something like that. 
anyway, I see that this person is, um, and you, you both are very concerned about the outlook of this relationship. The stability is lacking, but the tensions are high in the next two weeks, okay? I am seeing this. So someone could be having like intuitive, like someone intuitively knows something and they need confirmation or they like intuitively feel something and they want to know, all right? Mm-hmm. This is somebody like investigating what you're hiding. Like somebody feels like you're hiding something, Sag. And if it's not you, it's them. Someone feels they're hiding something and they know it intuitively. They know it. They feel it. They sense it. They, you know, whatever. And they're going to be, I'm hearing scavenging. This person's going to be looking for um, information. They're going to be investigating. They're going to be snooping a little bit. I am seeing that. And they're going to try to figure out what it is you're not saying, what it is you're not doing, or vice versa here. Okay, Sagittarius. That is what I am seeing. Yeah. Someone feels like you're like holding back and like not letting them in. They want to know why. Like, why are you so serious? Why won't you open up? Why this? Why that? You know, are you lying? Are you this? Are you that? Something. Various things I'm getting. Okay, so show me Sagittarius in the next two weeks. There's so much discomfort in this reading. Like it makes me like, I feel like someone is not like sleeping properly. They're not eating properly because they're so like pent up or like feeling like so bad. Okay, you know what I mean? I feel this here. Okay, Sagittarius. Dang. What are you doing? Sag. Mm, five of Pentacles. Okay. What's this? Okay. Um, all right. In the next couple of weeks, like you're you're actually putting in work here. So there's an unsatisfactory situation. You're aware of it. You're ready to work on it and make proper planning and make changes where appropriate. I'm seeing this. So it could be that something got out of hand, like chaos unleashed here. And you're like sorting things out in the coming period. So it's no longer going to be doing that in the next two weeks. Some of you guys, you've been indulging a little bit too much. You've been drinking, you've been boozing, smoking, whatever, doing some sort of vice here. Um, that's no longer, okay? Okay. Now, some of you, you may have options. Maybe you have people around you. You could be fantasizing about someone, thinking about someone, and you're putting an end to that. Like, it's, it could be something that's not tangible anyway. Like, whatever you're fantasizing about or daydreaming about, it it's, doesn't look tangible. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to tell you. Anyway, it could just be an idea or a daydream or a fantasy. You're putting an end to this, all right? You're going to be focusing on the reality of the situation coming forward moving forward. Yeah. This is like Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy and Scorpio Venus. Listen, okay. There's a little bit of like a delusional thing going on or some sort of illusion. Like you could be stuck on something or someone that's not good for you or doesn't exist. It could be a ghost. Okay. Or someone of the past. All right. Because remember, we even have this like, like can't let the past go. All right. So someone cannot let the past go here. And that's what this person is mad about in this reading. It came out again right here. Dang. So maybe you like to keep your options open here, Sagittarius. And like something is going to implode here. Okay. Okay. Like, things are going to get a little messy before they get better. I hate to say it. Like, you're stuck on, I don't know, someone that's gone? Like, you still want to work it out with someone who's gone or they passed away? Okay? Uh, Sagittarius, someone is focused on something that's lacking reality. All right? Could be you. There's a need for you to be grounded in reality in the coming two weeks. Um, 
I feel like this person is what, this is what they're upset about, okay? Yeah. So is this an addiction? Someone is like messed up out of their mind out here. So you know that it's time to conquer some sort of fear. Some of you guys, you need to get, you need to talk to someone. Whoever's, whoever this is could be needing to seek out help. Like I'm seeing, I don't know if this is counseling or sobriety, um, something like someone needs, you know, assistance here, a professional, like, dang dude because i'm seeing like psychological things that could be coming up as well or there's a psychological reason that this is happening it's like you can't stop or you can't quit something that you're trying to quit like if, if it's a vice a substance an addiction an affliction or like a fantasy of yours it's like you're stuck on it yeah, this is going to take some fight. You do have some assistance here, Sagittarius. Whether you're helping someone through this or this is you, okay? It's it's needing some more. It's needing like professional interference here, all right? So like reaching out to someone asking for help, it's there if you ask. People are there to help if you ask. There's support systems if you ask. You have to intentionally ask. You have to seek it out. Love you so very much, Sagittarius. Feel free to check previous future reads for more different information. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, beep and tom, beep and tonning on the street, check their placements too. So we know what everybody's up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye.